The first thing that we are going to do on our drawing here is to add the diaphragm, which is the muscle that separates the thoracic and abdominal pelvic cavities. Now in the thoracic cavity, we are going to have your heart, which remember is going to go somewhat into the left side of the thoracic cavity. When you're practicing drawing these locations, remember they don't have to be perfect. You're just trying to learn the approximate locations. So your heart is roughly in the center but goes to the left side of the thoracic cavity and then wrapped partially around the heart would be the lungs. So you're going to have your left lung, and your right lung. Now you'll notice there's a bit of a space right above the heart and between the tops of the lungs here. This space in here is called the mediastinum. And the mediastinum is where we have the major vessels coming off the top of the heart as well as a gland that sits right on top of the heart here called the thymus. And the thymus is very important for your immune system. So again, we have the heart, the lungs, the space here is the mediastinum, which includes the thymus and those vessels coming off the top of the heart. Now in the abdominal pelvic cavity, I have this line here representing the approximate location of the division of the different quadrants. So you have your right upper quadrant, your left upper quadrant, your left lower quadrant, and your right lower quadrant. In that right upper quadrant, the main organ that you're going to have here is the liver. Now the liver does go into that left upper quadrant. Tucked underneath the liver, so you wouldn't be able to see it with this view unless you lifted up part of the liver here, you would find the gallbladder. Then we have coming in from the thoracic cavity, you have your esophagus coming down, connecting to the stomach, which you'll notice is mostly in this left upper quadrant, but does go partially into that right upper quadrant. Then the stomach continues into the small intestines, and this is where you get a little loose with your art, so the small intestine is basically just going to be located in all of the quadrants. So it kind of goes up underneath the stomach and is found in all four quadrants. Then the small intestine is going to connect to the large intestine over here on the right side. So then we're having our large intestine that the small intestine connects to. There's the ascending colon portion, the transverse colon, and the descending colon and then the sigmoid colon, which then connects eventually to the rectum and out. A couple of other important structures to note here is that underneath the stomach is an important organ called the pancreas. So it's easiest to see if you lift the stomach up. You'll notice that it is mostly in this left upper quadrant but does go into the right upper quadrant. The pancreas is important both for making hormones to regulate blood sugar and also for making enzymes to help break down food. Also down in this right lower quadrant at the very beginning of that large intestine is a small little structure that sticks off and is a dead end and that is the appendix. The last thing that we'll note here is that Crossing over between the right and left lower quadrants here is going to be the urinary bladder that connects to the urethra and exits. 
Now, this would connect to ureters that would go up to the kidneys, but the kidneys are technically behind this abdominal pelvic cavity in their own space. So they are retroperitoneal, or behind the peritoneal cavity. Now, if this individual has ovaries, we would find the right ovary on the right side, right lower quadrant, and the left ovary in the left lower quadrant. Those connect through the fallopian tubes to a uterus that rests right over the top of that urinary bladder. So that covers the major organs and where you would find them in each of those cavities. I suggest printing off this unlabeled image, practice drawing it a few times to get that under your belt.